Hi there. So welcome to number six. Today we're going to talk about the other two pieces that are uh, in your assignment. The first is on page 79, the Slovak song, and the other one is on page 81, Old Aunt Kate. We're only going to spend a moment on the Slovak song because it's really not a lot to talk about that I think you can't do on your own. I just am going to ask you some questions about it and I'll let you figure it out for yourselves what you want to do and how to approach it. First you want to look what is the key signature? What do we know about what one flat means? We look at our time signature and then we're going to look at what is happening in each hand and if you see they're playing parallel and they're actually even on the same notes and it looks like the second line is very much like the first line except how it ends and comes down and ends on the tonic. There are no really complicated or syncopated rhythms in this piece. It's made just of half notes and quarter notes. I still think that it's a really good idea if you will clap it first so you can get how you think this piece is going to sound. I will play it for you one time and it's not a bad idea if you want to play it along with it, me when you have learned it so you can see if you're hearing the same rhythm that is there. Let's just give it a go. Alrighty, here we go. <laughs> Okie doke. So that was it. That one's pretty straightforward. Now we're going to go to page 81 to Old Aunt Kate. First thing we're going to do is check out our key signature. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm going to ask you how many sharps it is and how are you going to figure out what key it's in by going from the last sharp up a half step correct. There are lots of interesting things going on in this piece. I see all eighth notes, but I want you to ask yourself, are you playing staccato? Well, I see some. Are you having two note slurs where you're going to play them sl more smoothly and come down on the first one and up on the second, as we know? And then you see some places where it's all legato, where you're just playing four eighth notes together very smoothly, which is a different kind of pattern from what you're having is two staccato notes with a two note slur. And if you look at the dynamic change, how do we start? And then what is the dynamic of the second line? And why are they different? Do you see if the pattern and the melody and if the notes are the same between the phrases? Well, it appears that they are. And so what do we often do if, they, if we have two repeating patterns or melodies or phrases? We don't want them to play exactly with the same dynamic marking. That would be kind of boring. So we often see a change in dynamic markings between those two. And in this case, you can see that the different lines have a different dynamic marking. And in the second, where we're playing mezzo forte, when you get to the end, you see the crescendo. So you're going to give it a little different interest than it was in the first line. And if you look at the last note ending on E, which will be our tonic, what do you see the horizontal line that's under that in the treble clef or above it in the bass clef? the tenuto mark, as we have talked about in the past, which means to hold it for its full value. It's sort of a way of emphasizing that note without it being accented. You hear it as a stronger note just because you're holding it for the full value. It will just sound stronger. Okay, I will play this for you one time, and then you will be on your own. <laughs> Whoops, that was all right, except what did I do at the end? I did not hold it for the full value. Do better than I do when you play it. After all of those staccato notes, I only held it for its quarter note, but really kind of let up a little before that. So when you play it, make sure you do. 
and hold it for the full value. I actually held it a little longer then, but that's how I heard it. Alrighty, so you're on your own. Enjoy these three pieces for your homework assignment, and I look forward to hearing them from you. Goodbye.